Okay, welcome back to another tutorial. This time we're going to create a goofy looking letter. And what we're gonna use is layer styles, we're gonna use clouds, polar coordinates, and a lot of more interesting things you could learn just by watching me do it. Okay, let's start by going to filter, render, clouds, and we're going to colorize these clouds with... Let's click on the colorize first, with something like uh, 40, 80... That should do the trick. And go to image adjustment contrast and put up a contrast of plus 30. That looks cool. And let's go to filter, distort, and polar coordinates. And choose polar to rectangular and click OK. Now what I've done is I created a new text layer and put up a letter D. Yep, D as in Doman, as in me. And we're gonna use this as a layer mask. Now, how are we gonna do that? We're gonna first create this as a new layer. Double click on it, and it will create a new layer. Now, what's the difference between a background layer and a normal layer? Um, well, a background layer can't have transparency, and a normal layer can. Now, uh, let's go and rasterize the layer and invert it. Okay, that should do the trick. And copy it. And now create a new layer mask. Click on the layer mask and hold the Alt key. This will create a hide all layer mask, as in the layer will be all black. And paste in what we've copied. And now what we have is a nice D with a texture. Now, let's first get rid of the text layer. Okay. And we're gonna do a layer effect. Go to effects, choose outer, I mean inner glow, sorry, and just type in what I'll type and we can all manage perfectly. Okay, so we have the blending mode set to multiply, the opacity to 70, the color should be black. Okay, softer, edge, yep, yep. Okie dokie. And now let's choose bevel and the boss. And set the little options here in your bevel. Smooth, 250. Mm -hmm. Up, 5, 0. The angle should be 120. The altitude, 50. The contour should be anti-aliased. Highlight mode screen, opacity 75, and all the other things are OK. Cool. Click on the OK tab and we have ourselves a nice beveled leather D. Yep. Now, duplicate the layer and hide the first one for a minute. Now, we're gonna contract this one. We're gonna control click on the we're gonna change these to apply the layer mask to both of them okay and control click on the first one on the bottom one and go to select Modify, contract, and contract it to about, I don't know, two pixels should work fine. 
OK. And go to select again and choose inverse. Hit the delete key and deselect. OK. Select the first one and desaturate it. Blop. Now we have a desaturated layer and another layer with a contracted two pixels. Now click on the elliptical marquee tool and just start doing circles and start hitting the delete key. Now because the effect is dynamic, all of the bevels and glows just fit right in. Okay, now I created some things extra to just save the time. Uh, I created the color fill layer right here, so we don't have the transparency anymore, we have a white background. And I created a drop shadow and some other cutout effects with coloring. Now, this is too advanced to tell you. No, I'm just kidding. I'll switch off the topmost layer to just show you what I did. I did this. I marked a part of the D key and it's just hued. I changed the hue and that's it. That's pretty much what the effects and the technique is. I hope you learned something out of it and till next time have a nice time. Bye bye.